Hi, Grade 3. A massive welcome to Matt's lesson today after a long weekend spent at home with your family. So I hope you're well and that you're cheerful and that you have to get started again with our Matt's lessons this week. Brought to you obviously by Worksheet Cloud and there is the email address should you need to get in touch with me to do with anything with this lesson. Right, well, there's a little bit of a difference today because Chelsea, my border collie rescue puppy, who's now two, so not such a puppy, is joining us for this lesson and has got something to say to you. So over to you, Chelsea. Hello, Gracie. I am so excited to meet you today. And I've been dying to get onto the screen to say hello. My name is Chelsea, and I am Mrs. H's really spoiled, much-loved border collie. And I wanted to tell you that I am also in grade three, and I am learning all the maths things that she's teaching every day as well. So we're learning together. I hope to see you often, Grade 3. Have a good day. Okay now, bye. Well, thanks so much, Chelsea. It was lovely to have you uh, peep in to our lesson. Um, and you cheered us up a little bit. So I think we might see quite a lot of you. Thanks, Chelsea. Bye-bye now. Right, and I think let's start our day as well, after Chelsea's little message, with some maths jokes. How about that? Because you know what? We need to have a good old laugh, don't we? <laughs> exactly. Right, so, which tables do you not have to learn? Dinner tables. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one, why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. That's quite scary. I'd be afraid too. The next one is, what do you get if you cross a maths teacher with a clock? Arithmetics, like tick-tock, tick-tock. Okay, that's enough of that giggling and laughing. It's puzzle time, because we need to get our heads around the maths thinking. Let's get into maths mode, shall we, or maths gear. All right, so grade threes, there we have a little picture of some delicious hamburgers, hot dogs, and cola drinks. And what do we get? We've got three hot dogs, or sorry, hamburgers added together, gives us 90. So clearly, each hamburger is worth 30. So 30 plus 30 plus 30 is 90. Now we know what that a hamburger is 30, so we can put our 30 in the hamburger, but we've got to add another 40 to 30 to make 70. So clearly, if you've got two hot dogs, each hot dog is worth 20. So 20 plus 20 is 40 plus 30 is 70. The next one, obviously 30 is the value of our hamburger, but we've got to find a solution of 40, so we need to add 10 to that. So each cola is then worth 5. So this is a logical problem where you need to exercise your mental or mathematical logic all right, so let's do the last one, which is 30 plus 20 plus 5, which is 55. And there we have our puzzles done, grade 3s. On we go now to our focus on multiplication for the day. We did do multiplication tables a little while ago, where we uh, emphasize the need for you to know your tables and to learn them as the weeks go on, because it's really useful every single day. And there's our multiplication sign. What will you learn today at grade threes? Well, you're going to learn how to draw to show what multiplication looks like. And as a maths teacher, I believe strongly that drawing to help you understand and seeing what the problem is in front of you is very important. So I'd like to encourage you to draw as much as you possibly can when you're solving a problem. You will learn how to multiply two numbers by one number. And then I'm going to throw in a challenge and we're going to multiply three numbers by one number right at the very end. Right, so with no further ado, what does multiplication look like? Let's draw. And the first way we're going to show it in picture form is by drawing equal groups, grade threes. 
Right, so 4 times 3 is our example, and we're going to have show draw, uh, depict it by doing four equal groups of th or three equal groups, no, four equal groups of three. This is how it's getting tongue tied. Right, and the answer obviously is 12, and that is showing it with equal groups. Now let's do the same maths problem, but we're going to use repeated addition, and that describes exactly what it's supposed to be, is repeated addition. Right, so 4 times 3 is 12 again, and we're going to go 3 plus 3, 4 times. And the answer obviously is 12, and now we have shown 3 times 4, or 4 times 3, using repeated addition. What does multiplication look like? We're going to now use an array. It's another way of drawing something to show 4 times 3 is 12. And then we have four threes in each in a little row, depicting the answer 12. And the last way we're going to show the square threes is by drawing or putting our numbers into a strip diagram. Same example again, 4 times 3 is 12. And there we have 4 times 3 is 12. Now I'm going to put these all onto one page so that you can see them all together. There's our equal grouping. 4 times 3, 4 threes. And there is repeated addition. 3 added 4 times. And there is our array. 3 in 4 rows. And our strip diagram. I'm going to do another example now, which is 3 times 7, using the same diagrams. There we have our equal grouping, which is 3 groups of 7, and the answer is 21. Or we can show 3 multiplied by 7 by doing repeated addition, adding 7 3 times. The answer is also 21. Next example is our array where we have three rows of seven and then we have our little diagram or strip diagram. Also, this is all to help you to draw your multiplication problems and have that visual in front of you. Now we're going to multiply two numbers by one number. And let's see how we do this using all our diagrams. 13 times 3 or, as you know, 3 times 13, you're going to find the same solution. doesn't matter which way around you write your numbers and multiplication. It's just going to be easier for me to draw three groups of 13 using our equal grouping. And the answer there is 13 plus 13, or 3 thirteens is 39. Repeated addition, 13 plus 13 plus 13, yep, 39. Now let's show our array, the three rows of 13, and our strip diagram with our three groups of 13 and the solution underneath. And there our answer is 39. Multiplying two numbers by one number without using diagrams now, I am going to... Split the number 19 up. 19 is the same as nine, uh, 10 plus 9. So 10 times 4 is 40. 9 times 4 is 36. 40 plus 36 is 76. There we go. We have now multiplied, splitting our 19 into two numbers, and multiplying 10 times 4 is 49 times 4 is 36. And then we add the two numbers up together. We can be proud of ourselves. Right, here's another example. Multiplying two numbers by one number. 24 times 4, I'm going to split the number 24 into 20 and 4. 20 times 4, 80. 4 times 4 is 16. See how important it is that you know your table so that you can answer these, these multiplication um, tables quickly. 
and then we're going to go 80 and F16, it's going to give us a solution of 96. And we can do a little dance and a little jig. Well done. And so now I'm going to switch over to my Jamboard grade three. So I'm just going to do the last three little exercises to just show you multiplication using only numbers, not pictures as well. I can just get out of my PowerPoint. Right, so now we are going to have a look at our 17 multiplied by 5 example here. And of course, I have split up my 17 into 10 and 7. So I'm going to do this multiplication in two different steps. So 10 times by 5 is 50, great threes, and 7 times 5 is 35. And then I have to then total up my pink numbers here because I split them up to begin with and now I'm going to add them up to get the final total of 50 plus 35 equals 85. Sorry, I forgot to do 7 times 5 is 35. And there we can just send this little quick answer up there. So 17 multiplied by 5 is 85. I did that in two little steps and it made it so much easier. One more example. 42 multiplied by 3. I'm going to split 42 into 40 and 2. And um, do it in two different steps. So 40 multiplied by 3, grade 3, is 120 because 4 times 3 is 12. 2 times 3 is 6, but now I have to bring those numbers together and total 120 plus 6 equals 126. I've now done my multiplication in two steps and then I've combined the two answers to the multiplication sums and got a final solution of 126. And the last example is now my little challenge, which I said to you before, you mustn't uh, panic about, because if you don't get it this time, we will work on it at a later stage. I'm going to split 121 into 120 and 1. Now, quickly as we can, 100 multiplied by 3 is 300. 20 multiplied by 3 is 60. 20, 40, 60. 1 times 3 is 3. But now I need to add these numbers up here so that I can get my final total. How do we do that? Well, we say 300 plus 60 plus 3 is 363. There, our number goes up, shooting up to the top. Uh, 121 multiplied by 3 is 363, done in three different steps. So, there we go. We are now going to finish off with our puzzle finisher which is a similar one to the one we started our maths with today, except it's got a little twist at the end. So there we have our pictures again, our three little beavers. Um, each beaver is worth the same, add them up together. It needs to get to a solution of 36. But So we know that 12 plus 12 plus 12 is 36. Grade threes, I'm going to straddle to do this one here because I don't know what the sun is worth and I don't know what the hat is worth. So I'm going to just sneak down to the next one. Right, so let's do 12 plus 12 is 24, but that's a solution really. So the sun there must be worth zero. 
So let's go and put our little zeros in with the sun. Zero plus zero is zero. So the hat must be six because the answer has to be six. We have to add six onto zero to make the solution six. Right, now let's look at the bottom the bottom example, there's a slight difference here because there's a multiplication going on there and then an addition. All right, so we know that we've got two beavers this time, so 12 plus 12 is 24. We know that uh, the, the, the sun is worth a zero and we know that the hat is worth six. So 24 multiply by naught, and we know that the rule of multiplication is that you multiply any number by naught is naught, so 12 times naught is naught, that naught plus 6 is 6. So there's a little tricky um, maneuver at the end there. Right, so there's our puzzle finish it done, and we're as smart as ever. So, and that's the end of the lesson, grade threes. Thank you so much for watching this with me and for allowing me to come into your home and spend time with you. So, enjoy the rest of your day and stay well, be happy and help at home and be kind to one another. And so from me, Mrs. H, it's a little cheerio and goodbye.